Hello my soccer universe! I decided to give this France jersey its first outing on the channel. And yeah, I want to talk about jerseys and how it pertains to the Euros. Uh, more or less going through the jersey matchups and also partly ranting, partly yeah, being um, complimentary to what happened uh, jersey-wise and kit-wise during the Euros. Now, uh, this video will post a little bit late. Uh, halfway through the second match day, we only talk about the matches on match day one. I'm shooting uh, this right after I did the re review of uh, the Italy Switzerland game and so on. But I'll plan this to do this every every round uh, that we can talk about uh, match ups. Um, the way I went about it is I looked at all the jersey matchups that we had, all 12 of these, and put them into four categories. One being very good, one expected but good, the next one expected but bad, and the last one absolutely atrocious. And then within the cat categories I quickly came up what I liked and what I didn't like. And I would say we dive right into it because I think all the themes that I want to attack here are actually quite present in each of the jersey matches. And we'll start out with the atrocious category where I have two matches in there. Um, the first one is truly atrocious and that is Austria versus North Macedonia. Two away jerseys. Uh, and I think it's hardly North Macedonia's fault there. I have their current away jersey. I actually do like it in, in in many ways. It just does not, you know, gray and red, but the, doesn't jive well with whatever Austria is putting out there. But um, it is all about Austria in this one. A, and I've said it many times before, I really do not like Austria playing in black and turquoise. That is already a, no, a non-starter for, for me. Then... While this might be the best of the new Puma away jer uh, jerseys, Puma has been really stamping the mark on this tour in the, in, on, on this tournament by having the teams wear them all over. I mean, we saw every single one of them. The Austrian one is maybe the best one. However, what the, I have the biggest problem with is that uh, Austria is the home team and they play in their ugly away kit. And this could have been much improved if, let's say, Austria would wear uh, red shorts here. Uh, or even black shorts, but I think red would uh, look actually quite nice. But turquoise, no. No way that I will like this. Uh, the reason that this came about is one of those UEFA rules that I absolutely do not understand, because it has been working fine so far. U UEFA's uh, uh, kit rules have actually been quite lenient and uh, to, 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 to my liking, like allowing blue versus red matchups and, and so on. Here it was that the Austria home jersey, of course, has white sleeves. Which clashes, of course, with the grey sleeves, or light grey sleeves of Macedonia. Northern Macedonia, I should say. Not to uh, offend my Greek friends. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, Austria could have played even in black shorts. And I actually think the current home jer jer jersey looks, look looks even better because it gives away more the look uh, if it's worn with uh, black shorts. I, it's beyond me. Having two away jerseys and especially one really ugly and nonsensical kit com 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 combination just ranks it bottom. And again, two of the big themes that we've seen there are, are, are in there. Puma stamping the mark all over it. And the other one is um, the nonsensical UEFA rules. I think if Austria played in red with the white sleeves, I understand with the white sleeves, there might be a little bit, I think it would have been fine. Especially if you wear your black shorts, I think no one would have complained there. So that is the worst jersey matchup that I've seen. I actually would have preferred this one if the Macedonia uh, would wear their home kit because that would have worked as well. Because in the last, when Austria qualified, they played North Macedonia in the then new uh, this kit combination, although with the nicer jersey, and Macedonia played in red, it worked just fine. So. The second worst is, and it's not uh, bad per se, except that I really hate the jersey that uh, was worn at, oh, again, two away jerseys, Turkey, Italy, the opening clash. Uh, seemingly, Turkey has registered their nominal away jersey as their home jersey for this tour tournament. Go figure. Um, and then Italy has to play in the white ones. I still think it was kind of a ploy of Puma uh, to get this ugly jersey out there. But even if 
I think Turkey wearing red, Italy can perfectly wear their classic look of blue shirts and white shorts and uh, blue socks. And no one would have complained. No one. That's why this is the second second. It was absolutely. I love my Italy. You know that I'm all for it, it, Italy, but just this didn't jive for me. The next category is, as I said, expected, but it doesn't look good. And the first one in there is Hungary against Portugal. I mean, the Hungary home jersey, I have it. It is a decent jersey. Um, and it was expected that poor Portugal will play, will play in their away jerseys. I hate this jersey. I don't think it looks good uh, at all and together with the, uh, you know, not so special hung, hung look and especially if it's not a, the, the classic hung, hung, hung look with white pants and green socks. Um, just, I understand it. I didn't like it. And the same can be said for England against Croatia. This is all about the Croatia jersey. I actually would have liked that England play in darker shorts, but I guess with the all black look, uh, you don't want to mess it up. I, I I guess I understand it. And England is not to blame here. It's all about this ugly Croatia shirts. And actually, it's England's shirt. I think the Croatia shirt is even uglier for me than the Portugal shirt. However, the England shirt is much better. The, the England look is a much cleaner one than the, hung, ha, the Hungary one. And so this pulls it just above this mad, mad matchup. Again, it's not down to Hungary, it's not down to England, it's down to those two ugly jerseys. And then the last one is, uh, this was the meh matchup for me. Uh, I am not so much for these um, Wales jerseys, but that, you know, the look is all right, all red, fine. Um, I would have liked a different color scheme, you know, a little bit less yellow. However, that Switzerland that has to play in their training tops. Yeah, there's a nice feature. There are two nice features in, in this matchup present that I both want to address. Uh, a, the one thing that says actually the Swiss top is that the font use is Helvetica, which I find really cool uh, and underappreciated um, touch there. It doesn't look all over, but I think uh, the idea that the Helvetica means, of course, the Swiss font, that is really nice. And then, um, present, I could have said it already for Hungary, but I'll do it here in Wales. I really like the match details on the Adidas jerseys. Uh, a, they look like passport stamps. The outline is exactly the stadium that this is played in, and then it's rather, um, you know, nondescript. But actually, that's a really sweet touch. Given that this is a Euro that goes all over, having uh, passport stamps as the match details, Good on you, Adidas, and yeah, you are getting back a little bit of credit credibility in my book. That ends actually the ones that the matchups that I really did not like. I mean, red against white is all is not. I mean, it's a very common, but it's not one that excites me. Uh, so let's go further. Uh, as next, I have. And yes, there was this, an ugly Puma kit worn, but I think the Scotland dark blue just pulls it. Uh, in the expected but okay category because the checks actually improved the look. This could have been in this lime green or whatever, and then it would have been in the first category. Scotland here looks fine. Yes, I would prefer white shorts and then the checks maybe playing in red shorts and so on. That could have looked really, really nice. But I think overall this was an okay, uh, okay look. I, it's expected. It looks all right. Uh, that much I can say. Um, for the Netherlands against Ukraine, expected. I actually liked the the, no, the colors that were non expected. Um, but you know, orange and blue to get, especially orange and black. I think uh, having white on the Dutch jersey would have made this look better. I really would have loved if the Ukraine would show up in yellow. I think it would have worked. I really think this would have worked orange against yellow, and then I think I would have ranked this higher. The blue just does not sit well against uh, the orange, especially orange and black. So it's kind of two darkish kits, and that's why uh, it's not higher. Uh, next, ne next up is an all Adidas matchup uh, between Spain and Sweden. Yeah, exactly what we expected, both playing in the first team. Uh, kids, maybe the yellow shorts were a little bit jarring for me for Sweden, but then again, yeah, as expected. I think in Euro 2008, Sweden was playing with blue shorts, but I have to uh, see that lighter blue. But since both were navy blue, I understand that Sweden plays in all yellow. And then you have like, the, I actually like the combination of yellow against red and blue. So I think that looks all right. Uh, it's definitely not a bad matchup overall. 
bad was what Spain was producing and Sweden uh, was avoiding to do. But the match of all was all right, even though the Spain jerseys are not all that great. Um, the last one in this category, I think, uh, yes, is France against Germany. I like both jerseys. This is my favorite jersey released last season. Uh, my only complaint that this is not in the great category is that I think black shorts uh, for Germany and white shorts for France. I know color clash potentially. It has worked all that time. I know, and maybe France is even red dressing. I think France should play in white uh, uh, with white shorts and Germany with black shorts. It would look wonderful, I would say. Uh, I don't think that anyone would get confused, especially with the Red Sox of the French. And then we are at the really good matchups. And the uh, first one is, of course, uh, the game that I'm probably still everyone saw about was Denmark against Finland. Here, UEFA's weird kit rules. Remember the Austrian matchup. Denmark also has dark, has white sleeves, and so Finland cannot wear the white jersey, which I was looking forward to. However, the red and the white against the navy blue, and although this is not a great Finland away just because of the template, uh, but there's just something that jived quite well. What did not jive was what's happening on the field. But this was an excellent jersey matchup. I absolutely loved this one. It's my third favorite in there, mainly down to the Finland jerseys, and maybe I'm not a too big of a fan of this particular template from Denmark. But I have to say this looked better than if uh, Denmark would have all red uh, sleeves here as well. And then we would see Finland's home jersey, which is awesome, uh, as we will see soon. But I think it looks actually better this, this way because we have three main colors and all really well complementing themselves. So really well done there. Um, I actually was a sleeper, but I really enjoyed the Belgium against Russia um, matchup. The Belgian look is strong. I am not a big fan of the jerseys, mainly because of the flag, uh, but the Belgian look over is a really good one. But paired with the Russian away jersey, the new one, with the Russian flag and the blue shorts, awesome. This was an uh, unexpected red versus white matchup with a little bit blue sprinkled in that I absolutely loved. Uh, this I did not expect to be look, looking that great. It tremendous. Absolutely tremendous uh, color choice. This was, uh, yeah, we were all distracted from what happened to Ericsson, but on that day, there were some great color matchups there. And then my favorite matchup probably was the most underrated, Poland against Slovakia. Uh, blue for Slovakia, always lower look nice, although I'm not a big fan of the Slovakia jerseys per se, but I think this looks really good. And then Poland in the classic look. Uh, of white uh, shorts, which really look great, with the red shorts. That com com combination, pff, wonderful. So yeah, this is my ranking of match day one jersey matchups. Um, le let me know which ones you uh, liked, which way, which, uh, where you would change things. Um, again, for me, the big three themes, despite this, was uh, the weird UEFA kit rules. Puma stamping all over, and I want to really commend the match details for Adidas teams. That is a really, really nice touch that I liked a lot, and I like it actually better than putting all the flags on there, because everyone is doing that now, getting a little bit tired of that. So yeah, I will be interested in hearing your opinion on all these. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my SOFA universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!